Welcome back to Nathan Bell's podcast. Like and subscribe, help the channel grow, share with your friends if you think they'd be interested. Uh, today, Nathan would like to talk about his anxiety. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk about my anxiety today. When I was in my early 20s, I didn't really have severe anxiety. I'd, I'd had anxiety on and off. I always worried about catching diseases and viruses, very aware that there's many things in the world that can kill you. But for a long time, when I was in my 20s, I believed I was the Messiah and a prophet and that I was invincible because God was protecting me because I was here to survive a nuclear war. So nothing could kill me because I had to live past the nuclear war so I could survive the nuclear war and lead humanity into a glorious new age. Um, And I've sort of abandoned that and gone the way of hardcore atheism in the last few years because I saw, I was aware of, as I said in my video about death and legacy, I was aware of a few tragic deaths and it really showed me. And also COVID struck me hard just as a reminder of how easy it is to die in the world. Um, So in the last few years I've I've had, especially since COVID, I've had pretty severe anxiety and it's gotten so out of control that it's getting to the point where I absolutely can't function it's like every I, I think everything around me has bacteria everything around me has diseases I don't want to shake people's hands I don't want to touch people I don't want to touch things in my house everything has something that's going to kill me you know and it's interesting because I was reading about the singer from Friends or Rom and I used to like Friends or Rom when I was a teenager and apparently a few years ago the singer from Friends or Rom went and got a kebab and it had a parasite on it, and like he had, he had like um, some sort of seizure um, just from eating a kebab and nearly died. And it's just like a reminder, you know, this guy just ate a kebab that had a parasite on it and nearly died. So it just shows you how easy it is to die and how easy it is for things to go wrong and for everything to go wrong. Um, so I've sort of had a realization of how dangerous the world is and that has increased my phobias as I said I had phobias in my 20s I was worried about catching different diseases and cancer and stuff but you know some of the stories I've read have really increased my phobia so now it's like I get to the point some days I absolutely feel like I have to stay in bed because when I'm conscious and awake and aware everything is so severely intense and I'm so anxious that everything has some danger or some some disease or some virus on it that I won't touch things and while I'm conscious and aware I just feel constant absolute terror that I'm going to drop dead all of a sudden Um, and people keep saying to me oh you know you've got to get treated for this anxiety you've got to get some anti-anxiety medicine you can't live your whole life absolutely terrified that everything is going to kill you but what I don't like about anxiety medicine is that I see anxiety as a natural instinctual protective mechanism you know anxiety is there because we have an awareness that the world is dangerous and we have to be safe you know so I'm more about practical solutions about I'm not the healthiest person but I'm trying to live a healthier life I've been eating fruit every day for three months now I'm trying to improve my diet so I, I really feel like anxiety medicine is it just gives lulls you into a false sense of security it makes you your chemicals in your mind stabilize um so that you don't feel anxious well i think people should feel anxious you know there's so much to be anxious about you know there's so much that can go wrong and there's so much that can kill you it's like i said about the singer from friends of rom ate a kebab nearly died it's like the guy i wrote the song about remember amen he was drinking one day everybody drinks i don't drink anymore but most people drink and he was drinking and he fell and he died and he was 43 years old um so you know i think anxiety is practical and realistic because it's there because you're aware that there are dangers in the world um and it's there as a protective mechanism. Um, so I sort of, and that's my issue with a lot of these antidepressants and these anti-anxiety medicines is I don't, I think they they draw you away from having a realistic, practical view of the world and from having a view of the world as a dangerous, unsafe place. And what I've come to realise in recent years, as I said, because I've been aware of some tragic deaths and some people who died young um and because i read a lot of stories about like murders and 
bus accidents and car accidents and stuff, um, I realised the world is a super dangerous place. So it's important to feel anxiety because it keeps you on guard and you have to be protected. You have to be protective and you have to practise safety. It's like that tragic bus crash that happened in the Hunter Valley last year. Now the bus driver is getting charged with manslaughter or murder. It's like a bunch of people just gone to a wedding. You know, 20, 30 people just gone to a wedding. It's supposed to be this glorious celebration of love and these people are supposed to spend the rest of their lives together then there's an accident and everybody's dead you know and that's the sort of stuff that can happen in the world so you know i think anxiety is 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 a very natural um instinctual thing which is there because we're aware and because the nature of the universe is survival you know there's so much that can kill you you know we could have an asteroid hit in the next few years and we could all die um world leaders could go to nuclear war and we could all die so you know i believe the nature of the universe is survival uh, and that that we all just fight to survive until we inevitably die um some people live in a state of mind where they think god is protecting them or they think there is some destiny or some divine guidance or that they have some fate and, and what i don't believe anymore is saying that everything is going to be all right when i was in my 20s i was like my mentality was you know because i've always wanted to be a successful artist and i've always worked for many years very hard on being a successful artist and i used to say to myself if i work really hard and if i keep striving towards my goals and if i keep producing content and media and writing songs and making music then and then if i work hard everything will be all right and i will succeed and i was saying that to myself when i was 20 years old when i was recording hadron c and producing music videos for hadron c and now i'm 37 i'm nearly 40 you know i'm not married i don't have any children i live on the pension i haven't succeeded as an artist i'm getting closer but what i've realized is no there is no guarantee that everything is going to be all right you know people say oh everything will work out no it won't things won't work out things haven't worked out for me they certainly haven't worked out the way i wanted them to i wanted to be very rich and i wanted to be very successful and i wanted to be a popular musician and i've worked for years on those goals and what i've realized is that's probably never going to happen Um, and now i'm in a position where i don't because i've devoted all this energy into art and music over the years of my 20s now i don't have any qualifications i'm not skilled um, and i'm facing the rest of my life on the pension living in what's basically poverty and things aren't working out so you know as i've gotten older i've realized there's a lot of reason to be anxious things won't necessarily work out there's no guarantee that anything will work out there's no god saying that if you keep doing the right thing things are going to be good for you people die tragically all the time people die suddenly all the time you know i could catch some virus and die so this is why i don't like anti-anxiety medicine because it doesn't address the fact that in my 20s i believed i would live a very positive rewarding life and it just hasn't worked out and the reality of my life is good you know i do a lot of great stuff and i'm involved with reliability where i can produce music and art and i pursue my passions but it hasn't worked out the way i wanted it to i wanted to be this big star and i wanted to make lots of money and i wanted a career as a creator um and my dream is to run my own production studio and to have people working for me and to be directing movies now i realize that's probably not going to happen so now i've become convinced that i'm going to die tragically and be like van gogh i'll i'll I'll, I'll die and then i'll be recognized as this great artist um but i've had a really good year last year i was in the media 10 times uh, and i've built a level of fame and success and, and a reputation as an artist and that's almost ex- exacerbated my anxiety because i feel like so much has gone wrong in my life with the robberies and the times i've been stolen from and attacked i feel like it's my fate even though i don't believe in fate i feel like it's my fate that i will come so close to success i will get so close to succeeding and i will become this popular artist and then something tragic will happen and i will die and i'll never and then i'll blow up and like van gogh and then i'll blow up and then everyone will say oh wasn't he great wasn't he this fantastic creator and all my online shops my red bubble will blow up after i die and my red bubble will earn millions of dollars and all around the world people will buy stuff from my modern culture network red bubble and my parents will get all that money and my brothers will get all that money and i'll be in the grave um 
because you know things didn't work out. So what? So I don't appreciate people anymore who have this mentality of it's all going to be all right. No, it's not. Not necessarily. You know, you've got to make smart choices. I made smart choices. I wanted to be an artist, and all of my choices throughout my twenties and my thirties have been geared towards a career as a creator. And I've worked tirelessly for years when I was with Renew Newcastle and when I was doing Hadron C and I've produced all this content and you know it's all still on the internet and nobody ever looks at it you know I've got all the Hadron C on the internet nobody ever looks at it I've got all the Renew Newcastle stuff on the internet nobody ever looks at it so this is why I'm anxious because I realise I've done the right thing I've put all the work in and nothing has worked out Um, so I've de- I'm determined I'm just going to keep creating art until I inevitably die. But, you know, anxiety is natural, and that's the point of what I'm saying. It's a natural, instinctual response to the harsh realities of the nature of the universe. And that's why I don't like anti-anxiety medicine. But I think I'm going to have to get on some anti-anxiety medicine because it's gotten to the point where, I, where some days I just absolutely can't function and I'd rather just lay in bed asleep. Because every moment that I'm consciously awake and aware, I just feel this intense fear and terror that I'm going to die suddenly and I can't touch surfaces and sometimes I can't eat because I'm worried I'm going to choke, you know, because some people will be eating something and it will get caught in their throat and they'll choke and they'll die and that's the end of their life and that's the random nature of the universe. So some days I feel like I can't eat food. Because I feel like if I eat food, I'm going to accidentally choke and then I'm going to die. So that's how severe the anxiety has got in the last sort of six months to the last year. Um, so anyway, that's my thoughts on anxiety and the realistic nature of anxiety. So drop a comment in the comment section about if you've ever experienced anxiety and whether you think anxiety is natural or what you think about having anxiety.